All right, this is gonna be good. Let's load up and head on. We're starting off in the Undercity with a bunch of poor people who've never really had a bit of good luck in their life. I mean, you gotta admit, that kind of sucks. They basically were born in some sunless place. I mean, even the poor people in, the, in our world, at least they can see the sun. I mean, these people are like, look. Okay, dang it, I forget, you can't look up in this game, but like, if you look, there's like all solid wall above them. They are quite literally in a light in a sunless town. That sucks. <laughs> Just saying. Of course, I have to ask why they don't just leave. I mean, aside from the Sith Guard up there, it's not like it's they're being chained down here. I mean, how hard could it be to climb up there? Of course, the people in the upper city would probably notice them because, well, they're not exactly dressed like a uh, nobleman. I mean, look at this. Oh, dear. Hey, you ain't from the village. You're from the upworld, ain't you? Yes, you've got credits, I bet. Watch yourself. There's something slimy about this guy. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. My yeah, my uh, con man detector is <laughs> is screaming at me. To buy something from my store, I got some good deals. Yeah, except you see, there's one problem with you and me. Literally every sensor I have got warning me of danger, scumbag, molester, you name it, I, it's ringing right now. You name it. <laughs> it's screaming, kill this guy before he kills you. I don't like him. <laughs> you, in fact, I would say run, boy, run. But how do you, how do you run the store? If a villager comes across any useful salvage in the undercity, they bring it to me. Every so often, members from the lower city gangs come down to trade for the salvage. They'll exchange food and medicine for engine parts, old blasters, and the like. Sometimes they even give me credits if I have some really good stuff. Huh, I was asking some questions. You better ask oh, boy. Gendar. He's the spokesman for the And now here you'll understand why ever why I don't like this guy. Why Gendar doesn't like him. <laughs> Gendar seems to think I should share the profits of my store with the whole village. He figures we're all in this together, so it should be share and share alike. But I'm the one who runs the store. I'm the one who makes the deals. The others just bring me salvage to trade with the upworlders. Why should they get anything? Yeah, I mean, they're just risking life and limb fighting off rivals for little parts that you basically just sell. I'm sorry to tell you this. In this case, there's a name for this. Slave labor. <laughs> yeah, Gandar is fully justified in saying you should be sharing the profits because... Seriously. <laughs> this guy would be nothing if they decided, you know what, if we're not getting the profit, we don't have to work. Communism, my friends. This is why communism doesn't work. If they're not getting paid, they shouldn't bring him salvage. They should sell it themselves. Themselves. I mean, this guy's literally just a, ba a salesman. He doesn't make the product. He literally is basically a thief. <laughs> yeah. Pretty selfish attitude, buddy. Hey, you don't know what it's like down here. I have to claw and scrape to survive. Nobody else will look out for me. Gendar doesn't agree with my philosophy. That philosophy is the reason anarchy doesn't work. <laughs> I figured I'd wait until food was scarce, and then I could offer it to people who'd follow me instead of Gendar. Then I'd be the leader. But Gendar made me share my hoard. Ever since then, he hasn't trusted me. He keeps me around because of my store, though. Without it, this village wouldn't stand a chance. Buddy, let me tell you something. You might be a salesman, but anybody in this village could probably take your place. If you die, someone else can run your store. You're not worth crap. It's got that. Well, that's the, basically it's called competition, and you're lucky you don't have any. Honestly, why don't they set up another guy here? Cause this guy, screw you, bro. Screw you. <sighs> Let's just see his inventory. Ain't the best stuff. Mostly. They say not the best stuff, but actually, look at this: a Charney battle armor, defense bonus of seven. Like that's glory. That's like amazing weapon. Well, armor. Well, I suppose you could use it as a weapon. Whack him with it. Alright, what does he got? Is he, let's see, he has a vibration cell, which I have to buy. Well, I don't have to, but trust me, it's worth it. Scope, again, worth it. Okay, so you can buy that stuff, just not very easily. Combat implant. An immunity to critical hits and an uh, increase to awareness. I like it. And some frag grenades. And our meat. Yeah, this guy does have some really good stuff, though. You can't, I am not gonna. I may not agree with his business tactics, but. I'm not gonna say I don't like his 
stuff. The villagers really do do good salvage. It's just all this crap I don't need. Alright, there we go. And we basically got all our money back there. Mostly. Heavy blaster. I think I might keep that, but I definitely don't need that. I don't think I need... Not really even worth selling, honestly. Anything here worth keeping or selling? No, nope, that's about it. Yeah, don't like that guy. Yeah, I don't care how... At this point, I'm really not... If it were for the fact that he had very rare items, I probably would not have bought them. Like, those are really very hard to get. Right, let's see what else is around here. I mean... Honestly... Actually, how do these buildings not collapse? I mean, they, look at this. They've nagged at... They basically not drilled a hole into the side of a structure that's supporting how many tons of metal? Hmm. Oh, well. Let's just hope the city doesn't come crashing down upon us and kill us all. And by us, I mean you guys. Hurry! I can hear it coming! He'll never make it. He's doomed. Oh, I told him he was a fool to leave the village. He will make it. Run, Hindar, run! Rumble, run! Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! I... I can't. The raccoons are too close. The mutants will kill him if you don't open the gate. And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all. No! You There's a raggle. <laughs> See what I mean? Those things are freaky. Make him open the gate. Hindor will die if he doesn't. I can't open the gate. Not while the raccoons are so near. Open the gate. I'll kill him. I mean, I'm itching for a fight, honestly. You're brave, Upworlder. Not brave, bloodthirsty. For you, but you've got to be quick. In a few seconds, I must close and lock it again. Why doesn't he run through while I run? Ah, oh, whatever. All right, these things are very hard to kill, so I should probably be a little bit more careful. But who cares? Let's just—I just want to kill something. I am very <laughs> tired of it, of just kind of sitting around. Let's do this. No mercy. Yes. Okay. Also, these things can poison you, which is a problem. Well, level up. Sick. Oh, he helped, actually. You know, it's nice that you have someone that, like, unlike most games where, you know, you go in and you're saying someone, they're just cowering or even worse, getting in the way. And this, this guy's like, <laughs> pulls out a sword and helps you fight. Nice to know that they're, that this game, nice to know that they did that. Sure. I never noticed, really noticed that before. So, pretty nice. Thank you for saving Hendar. You are braver than I, Upworlder. Maybe we outcasts have lived too long and selfish fear. Perhaps All right, bro. we can learn a lesson from your brave actions. <laughs> but enough of my ramblings. Is there something you need, Upworlder? This guy will know, if I just guard the gates. Gendar's the... Why is Gendar the only intelligent person in this village? Just saying. Uh, he doesn't, I mean, he's a gatekeeper. He should know I'm about the escape pods. From the outcast village. It's my job to guard the gates. You see, they are locked to protect us from the rat ghouls. Okay. I think he could tell me about at least about the patrols and such that went out there. <sighs> they really need to do something about that. I can't thank you enough for saving me, Upworlder. If I had anything but these rags on my back, it would be yours. But we have nothing. I still have uh, you, Dar. That's all I need. Let's go back to the village. And I gotta kill things. That's all I need. Everybody's happy. <laughs> uh... Even when I'm doing good, I have to have a good excuse for doing it. Alright, let's give myself a persuade, because, again, that's like the best skill when you're the main character. Honestly, because you can have like your party members substitute most of the other stuff, but you're the only one who can do persuade. Alright, so I can't get an upgrade of that. You know, I think I will upgrade my... give myself an improved power. Power attack receives 8 plus damage next melee attack, with the attack made with a penalty of negative 3. Because the penalty doesn't go up, just the attack up good. Quickly to dispatch groups of easy to hit opponents. I wonder something though. Can I remove a feat? Dang it. Actually, I should get a proficiency with melee, honestly. Or even an improved toughness might be a good idea. But whatever. Uh, this will work for now. Alright. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm eager to head out into the wasteland. Well, the Shadowlands, I think it's. Actually, no, that's the uh, Kashik. I don't know what you call this place, just the Undercity, I guess. Sure, I'm a complete stranger, but okay, I'm good with this. It's Zalbar. He's in trouble. 
big trouble. We have to help him. If we don't, they'll sell him into slavery. And my problem, how? All right, your Wookiee friend, what happened? Who's going to sell him into slavery? Oh, what to pick? What to pick? Let's just say calm down mission. Me, me and Zalbar, we were just wandering around here in the Undercity. Yeah. You know, looking for stuff we could find, just kind of exploring. We do it all the time. I guess with a Wookiee at your side, you've got to figure you can handle the odd Rack Ghoul attack. Oh, yeah, this much. time, they were waiting for us. Gamorrean slave hunters. We didn't even have a chance to run. Big Z threw himself at him and then roared for me to run. I, d I took off. I figured Zalbar would be right behind me. But there were too many of them. He couldn't get away. They're going to sell him to a slaver. I just know it. Yeah, considering that's generally what happens to Wookiees. Hmm. Alright, do you know where they took him? I don't know for sure, but those Gamorreans like to hang out in the sewers. The stink reminds them of home, I guess. That's probably where they took Big Z. Actually, where are Gamorreans from? I don't actually know the planet they originate from. I know there's an Alhada that the Huts rule, but they took that planet from someone else. I can't remember who. don't actually remember where the Gamorreans come from. I'll help you get Zalbar if you can get me inside the Volker base. Fair enough. I hope you get Zawar back if you help me get into the vocal base. I think I'll be going with that one. It's a deal. As soon as we get Big Z back, I'll show you a way into that Volker base. Now come on. We have to find Zalba before they sell him to slavers, or worse. Do you know where he's being kept? The Gamorians make their camps in the sewers. I bet that's where we'll find Zalbar. And that's where I'll show you the secret entrance into the Volker compound. Alright. And now I've got her in the party. So let's... Oh, wait, she's already in. <laughs> Alright. Oh, and we got some level up. Let's do some upgrading yeah. here. I also think that I can give her some better uh, better stuff already. Alright, so... She's got already good intelligence. Dexterity. Honestly, the problem... Let's see. I can't remember. Dexterity measures, agility, reflexes, and modifiers, range of attacks rolls. Well, honestly, I think I'm going to give her a strength roll because it's true she's better with a... Uh, gun generally because of her high dexterity, but she, ironically, she still does more damage with a sword than a gun, because like I said, guns are nerfed. Oh, holy heck. I think the only characters who really do any good with a gun are Karth and uh, another dude, and he uses a heavy blaster, so. Since she can generally only use sniper rifles and the uh, pistols, yeah. Let's go with... Actually, yeah, she is definitely... What makes her valuable, though, is her, is her intelligence modifier, so let's take down... Yeah, she's extremely good at skills, so she check us out. Five points. Let's see, cross skill. Yeah, computer is not as good. Demolitions, stealth, awareness, security are honestly her best ones. And I think I'm gonna save the rest. There we go. And now she's pretty good. Now let's check out her. See, we can give her... Ooh, actually, I think, yeah, she's good with the Republic Mod Armor. Because she has a high dexterity. I think that's how it works. I can't even remember how all this goes. Actually, I do have a heavy blaster that she could use. And it's balanced, for, so she can do, uh... Versus two weapon penalty. Good. Actually, I think it may be better to give her a sword, because, look, she's got Mission's Vibroblade. What's her damage? Her damage is eight. Okay... Actually, that's really not good. So let's uh, do this. Let's switch out to a. That oh, crap. None. I think that actually increased. So let's just give her missions vibroblade. Yeah, see that gives her not. Actually, she misses. She's not likely to miss. Funnily enough, she does more damage. But you know, it's kind of a question: Should we increase her damage or her ability to hit? Because you see, her damage is 2 to 11 with this thing, but it's only plus 4. Well, this is a plus 7, but it only does 1 to 8. wonder why. Hmm. This is 2 11 penalty if used in the offhand. Actually, I just remembered an idea I came up with. Does this work? No, you can't do it here. <laughs> I swear I did it at one point, but... Yeah. I'm going to go with this setup.
Actually, never mind. I'm gonna go with the uh, our heavy blaster because more accuracy is actually better at this point in time. Lead the way, mission. Ooh, rebel. You know, you'd think it's supposed to be picked clean considering it's right next to the village. One credit and a part. Yeah. Let's see. <sighs> well, now I'm out of complete idea of things to talk about. Ooh, good. Cutscene. Gives me an excuse not to talk. Oh, yeah. Like, look at that gun. It's a heavy blaster. <laughs> I think it's a repeating blaster. Very powerful. Like a freaking machine gun, but with lasers. Don't... Don't move! I'm... I'm not afraid to use this blaster if I have to. Settle down, kid. We've already lost enough men to those damn rat ghouls. The last thing we need now is more casualties from a needless firefight. By the looks of you, I'd say you're down here for the same reason we are. To salvage something from those downed Republic space pods. Let me give you some advice. Forget about it. Do yourself a favor and just head back from where you came. Why? This isn't a good place to stand around chatting. The Undercity is crawling with rat ghouls. I've already lost a half a dozen men to those monsters. Candrus, I heard something. Over there, in the shadows. Sounded like a rat ghoul. Also, fun fact, Candrus currently has god mode on. How do I know this? I literally watched Looks him like get trashed by these guys for almost five minutes straight ready, once. <laughs> I literally just ordered my party to sit back and watch them get destroyed and watch him basically die. These guys can die though, I think. But he just kind of sat there and yeah, it didn't end. Well. And he just kind of sat there and took it. And I'm just kind of going. Mm. Okay. So yeah, this is basically just don't get too involved. Check on me, I'm the one who's actually hand-to-hand -hand combating you guys. And they already took out another one of his party. I told Davik this salvage mission was a bad idea. His men aren't trained for this kind of thing, and I can't babysit them all. Okay, boys, we're getting out of here before I lose anyone else. I can't carry all this salvage back by myself. You'd be smart to get out of here as well. Even if you can handle the rat ghouls, I doubt there's anything worth finding anymore. What do you mean by that, bro? Davik sent me down here with his motley crew to scavenge whatever we could from the Republic escape pods that crashed during the recent battle overhead. But the lower city gangs got here first. Anything worthwhile in those Republic pods is probably in their hands by now. Davik won't like that. Yeah, that's true. Can you tell what me? What are you, an off-worlder? Everyone knows Davik. Bad idea. Gambling extortion. Basically the same Davik stuff. Control. Yes, I better go on. Ah, uh, have fun, good sir. Ooh, hey, your fallen comrade left me some loot. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just gonna rob your, uh, dead friend. Holy cow, raggles really are everywhere. Walk, like, literally three steps, and there's one again. What? Snipe these guys. Like I said, sometimes just scare increased uh, chance of damage is definitely worth the uh, higher damage. Because it's not really worth having a high damage if you can't hit them. But yeah, later on in the game, guns just don't even bother with them. Kendris is the only one I think who actually really late game can handle guns against heavy opponents. Like, I actually did give Mission a full maxed out dexterity. I even used a cheat to give her, like, 99 dexterity. And even then, she was still getting it owned. Like, seriously, she had, like, one of the best snipers in the game, too. It was sad that she really could not do anything. I mean, in cases like this, they can be used as a good backup, especially when you went back in the early game when you still have, like, the pistols, because those, for some reason, actually are still pretty decent damage at this point in time. Dang, those raggles are everywhere. Ooh, corpse. An outcast corpse. Oh, I think I know this. This is actually part of a side mission, if I remember. Yep, promised land apprentice journal. Get items. That's part of a uh, side quest I forgot to talk to a guy about. Rue kill? Yeah, if you remember the last episode, 
we near the end of it we talked to that one girl. She talked about Rukil, the oldest dude in the village. The village. Another corpse. Hmm. That, have I already looted it? Oh look, a minor frag. Again, I need to do something about the whole. Actually, mission might be better at this. I can't remember what her stats are right now, but skill two level. Oh, mission, your job. Yeah. See if you can do it. Even though she's well within range of the mine. Yeah, so mission does have a higher demolition skill than I do. Yeah, the one thing about mission though is that well, she's not quite as good even with any weapon as most of the other characters are. She is still extremely worth having because she can basically pick any lock, hack computers, and do all sorts of stuff that can really end people. But you, you got to give her like security spikes. You got to give her her the, enough supplies for her to be useful. Is really the only problem with it. Like she can clear entire rooms because she can like hack a hack a terminal, and that can basically cause things to blow up, blow up everything, burn it all out. And she did a stupid. Walked right into the mine. That's a weird thing. You think they would? You think they shouldn't do that? But yeah, nothing worth scavenging. That escape pod looks fairly intact. I mean, they've even got a remaining Republic soldier. Oh. I'll see if I can find no. something to help. No. Dang it! I, I screwed up. I mean, it's not like you could save the dude anyway, but man, the rebels are actually a lot more terrifying with the uh, better graphics. Whoa. What just happened to my viewpoint? Anything worth, uh, scavenging in this escape pod? Nope. Dang it, I was hoping, because there's actually, you can get the Raggle Serum now. You just have to find a decent, yeah. you just have to find a Sith Patrol. Well, okay, everything just kind of went lag out there. Ah! Cut. do me a favor. Move out of the way. Alright, yeah, again, the problem with this game is it can be a bit hard to navigate because of the whole linear, there we go, because in fact everything is kind of linear when it comes down to, okay, for some reason things were kind of paused there, wasn't sure what's going on, anyway, so, Star Wars, well, yeah, Disney kind of butchered the uh, video game branch of Star Wars, I mean, at least they did the movies good, but they turn basically recreated the prequels and video games. And that kind of ticks me off. Because, I mean, they've actually... I think I... I don't think this is even considered canon anymore, thanks to Disney. Which... And that just makes me mad. I think I've already actually gone over this. Eh, never expected to bring up an original content. <laughs> Too much work. You there, civilian. This is a restricted area. What are you doing down here? Uh, I've got security papers. Security papers? Oh, you're one of those trackers the commander sent down, right? Yeah, sure. Should have you an armed escort. It's nasty down here. No we lost one patrol. We figure the rock ghouls got them. We, plus we've had and I just realized this video has already gone way past where I'm supposed to be going. I might already have lost the video. Said you lost one patrol already? What was that why you're down here? Search and rescue. I didn't think they'd say I would have gone to investigate, but my orders are to search the escape for pods. Come on, patrol. Oh crap, I screwed up. No, kill, 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 kill. Oh my gosh, I just did that so badly. They had the Rackle Serum. I was supposed to kill them. No, talk to me. Kill. Alright, fine. Let's do this trick. See if this works. Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. Are you kidding me? Well, I'm going to save here and quit because I just butchered that. Oh my gosh, I was supposed to kill those guys. Uh, I'm mad at myself right now. I didn't think... Threw that, that one through. Ah! Adios.